Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. It's the Brova Yaraya Yasharala of the GMS Italia. And I would just like to share a quick testimony of a Brova here in Italy who, by the grace of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and through his apostles and elders of Great Millstone, came to know about the truth. Okay. And this Brova actually has a uh as a as a gift from the most high which is the gift of um seeing dreams okay so anyway before i start this lesson i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone for having taught me this truth um and I would like to send um, my salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth and the 144,000 uh, who are going to be the ruling class of the new kingdom to come. So um, I will just quickly like to read from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, as you can see. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your son your young men shall see vision okay so this same this same scripture is actually quoted in the book of um acts chapter 2 verse 17 okay and this is just a sort of proof that you know the old testament um is always being quoted also in the new testament okay by the apostles okay so i would just quickly like to go to the channel of this brother okay who actually learned the truth okay from me I've, i was also kind of surprised is the way it changed okay this is his channel gms ita shalom Yasharala, which he chose a nice name, okay, he did it all by himself, and the name is, um, it means Dream Israel, Shalom Yasharala, okay, so he just actually dropped two videos today, and he sent me the links, and I was really, really happy because um, this brother actually, he did a whole lot to become this person he is today. I personally know him for I know him for a lot of many years. Okay, we don't live in the same city. We live far off, but you know, um, I already shared the testimony of how he came to know about the truth in one of my past videos, and that was a response I did to the apostle Gabar. So if you would like to know more about the brother, you know, um, I already did a video concerning this. So when he was actually learning the truth, he always called me saying that he doesn't really understand English. So I I found him this um this page, this um this brothers doing um the teachings in Spanish, saying that Spanish is kind of similar to the Italian language. So he he was learning through the brothers as well. So that's the La Cash. I think Lash, I can't remember what the name of the page is. So it did a it did a video today and it sent me the link. This is the part two of the video, which I'm just going to play a little of it and I would give you okay the tra translation of what the video is all about. So the video actually is a is a dream he had, okay which is um, a vision, okay, as you may say. So let's just quickly go. Il leone della tribù di Giuda è Yahweh Shai, il figlio di Yahweh. E quindi mi ha mostrato immediatamente che ero sulla strada giusta. Mi ha mostrato immediatamente che era verità questa qui di Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, la verità del padre e la verità del figlio. E... Sono onorato, io prego il padre, barakata Yahawa, barakata Yahawa Shai, sia benedetto il padre, sia benedetto il figlio, che sono il nostro tutto, sono il nostro senso della vita. Dobbiamo vivere e rispettare e servire il re e il nostro creatore. Perché questi tempi passeranno 
e arriverà un nuovo regno, arriveranno nuovi tempi dove sarà quando regneranno i giusti anche, anche gli schiavi saranno felici. Io prima di, di chiudere questo video ci tengo a, a raccontare un'altra visione che ho avuto, è una visione dove eh, voglio condividere con tutti i fratelli che sono in questa verità, con tutti i fratelli della GMS, e ho avuto in visione qualche settimana fa eh, una notte dove io ero con le sacre scritture in mano, ero con questo libro che è la nostra mappa eh, in mano e aspettavo ad un angolo ad... ok i'm just going to stop there if you would like to watch the full video you can you know go to his channel and you know watch the rest of the video it's actually in italian because the brother right here is um is of italian descent is an israelite you know born in Italy by Italian parents and this is just um oh uh, this is just um how should I put it this is a testimony to show you that you know Israel is spread around the four corners of the earth and you know many have become Gentiles as well okay so the brother right here is just giving a testimony of um the visions he had so let me just quickly just put tell you a little something about the brother so in the process while i was teaching this brother about the truth you know at the beginning you know he'd been married he's a young dude but he got married you know last year or so and you know um he's been having problems with ever uh, with his um with his family you know ever since he got into the truth but before he actually accepted the truth you know, he would try to like, you know, he was a little skeptic about whatever I teach him. If I teach him something, you know, he had a kind of response, but then you're going to see that after a short while, it starts changing. And I didn't even, you know, I didn't try to get on him that much because, you know, this truth, we don't, we don't, we don't get on people, you know, you need to have the spirit to accept it. At the beginning, I actually thought I was going to lose him as a friend, you know. So each time he tries to scare away from me, you know, he gets a vision, you know. He sleeps and he gets these dreams. And, you know, these dreams always, you know, get him, put him back on track. So that day, I remember I told him, hey, if you don't get this thing, this teaching, you know, just pray to this name. Try to pray to these names and ask if these things are true. You know, because I know we get a lot of dreams, you know, we've been friends for many years, you know. So he slept on that night and, you know, this is the vision is actually, he, he actually spoke about two visions. The other one, he didn't finish it. So the first one is actually speaking on here. So he had this vision that, you know, if he he had his own, his, his scriptures in his hands, okay, and it felt like he had an appointment so he found himself in this um kind of junction, a road with like kind of four, three other junctions, okay? So he felt he was actually waiting on, a, on an appointment. Then all of a sudden he saw these brothers, you know, whom he watched their videos. That's the, I think the GMS Lakash, Lakish or so, the guys that speak in Spanish. So there is a guy in particular there, I can't, I don't know his name. Okay, so he saw his face and he met this guy, you know, and it felt like they were actually all on the same appointment. So they just started like speaking like, ah, uh, um, it felt like they knew that Yahweh Shai was coming, you know, and, you know, they were like, okay, so we're going on this appointment and yeah, I think in one hour, yeah. So he remembered they had like one hour left for the appointment and all, all of a sudden after, you know, they waited for this time, you know, talking to each other, you know, they just found out that um, they got beamed into this um, spaceship, okay? And immediately they got beamed into the spaceship, you know, they could see from inside the spaceship and they were just looking down and it felt like there was a huge bomb that destroyed 
the whole city underneath them, you know. So when he woke up, actually, you know, this dream made an impact to him. And he called me and he told me about the dream. And I was like, wow, you know. Then he got this other vision, okay. Um, when I told him to actually pray for, you know, to these names, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and see if the Most High was going to give him a vision, if the names that I'm telling him is true or not. So this brother actually prayed that night before he went to bed. And he had another vision in which um, there was a huge crowd of people, okay? So they were gathered together. And, you know, all of a sudden, the people started, like, getting scared and they ran kind of away. But he didn't know why. So when he looked around, he saw this huge lion coming close to him, you know. But the funny thing was, he wasn't afraid of this lion. And the lion just came all the way close to him and started, like, touching him and playing with him. And he felt like he was just resting on a huge couch with his lion. And people were just looking all afar, amazed, like... How the heck are you playing with a lion, you know? So then he didn't even know the scripture that says that Yahweh Shai is the lion of the tribe of Judah, you know? So as usual, he called me again and it was like, hey, I had this vision, I had this dream. This is what I saw. And, you know, the spirit just, you know, gave it to me right straight away. It was like, oh man, you that was the lion of the tribe of Judah, you know? Yahweh Shai and the scriptures represented either by the lamb or by the lion, okay? So the lion you actually saw is the lion of the tribe of Judah, you know, and it's just giving you the confirmation that you're on the right track, you know? So this brother actually, you know, his testimony has also built up my faith, like, you know, crazy, man. It's really crazy, and I'm seriously happy for this brother, you know, you know, this brother is someone I, I actually know really well. He was not this person you're seeing on the screen. You know, it was a different dude, you know. You know, it was a whole totally different person carried away by this world, you know. So, you know, I hope this, um, yes, the one more vision he had, okay. And that's the last one he was trying to say on this video. So, it was like he saw... Um, he was going somewhere and from a far distance, he saw the three apostles. He saw the Apostle Taha, Apostle Gaba, and Apostle Haramla, okay? So the three of them actually were standing from far off and he saw them, he recognized their faces and he was like happy and he was trying to like go close to them to speak. But when he got closer to them, he saw... They were different people, you know, but they were also, you know, me members of the Great Millstone. So he started like, it was like, ah, you guys from the Great Millstone, they were like, yes. And, you know, they just started speaking about the scriptures and, you know, it was, it was, you know, another kind of like um brotherhood just built in like that. So, you know, you always call me as usual because we are very few with this truth in Italy as we know ourselves, actually, we, we are not really much yet. And we are praying to the most high, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, this job could get quickened, you know. um. So people, the remnants of Israel can wake up. And yeah, let me just put this point straight up, you know, who the most high has ordained from the beginning is going to get this truth. Okay, no matter what, and no matter where they might find themselves, you know, just like I got the truth myself, you know, I never heard about the Great Millstone. I never thought I was going to be a part of something like this. You know, I just turned up my, I had a dream then turned on my YouTube and, you know, just came across a video, you know, and it was, I think, the video of the elder Manata Zach, you know, of the Carolines, I can't remember, you know, the, the, the apostle that does the walk and talk, Manata Zach. So, well, I hope this um, this visions this brother had, you know, I hope they defy you so much. And this is just, you know, lesson and, you know, message to the brothers, you know, 
just hold on strong to what you have so the devil doesn't come and take him off you know keep praying keep hoping keep studying the scriptures and keep putting your best into you know observing the commandments of the most high you know this is the key you know this is the key to life you know the chariots are preparing themselves and you know before we know it they're going to appear and beam us up you know hopefully you know we don't get hopefully we don't get delivered into the hands of the wicked which is the sword of the most high so this should be also part of our prayers you know so yeah brothers you know strengthen yourself strengthen your faith because the times that are coming up ahead are definitely hard times you know but the most high you know according to his promises is going to see us through you know as long as we keep we keep his commandments to the best of our abilities you know and we do what we have to do you know if we love the most high we're going to spread this word and you know try to be participate in this huge project you know so i hope you all was edified by this video and saying this i'd like to give all praises honor thanks and adoration to the most high Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai ba Hashem, Ruka Kodash. Okay, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and, you know, Shalawam. Peace to the house of Israel. Shalawam.